and welcome back to another video. It is Friday night in this clip and I have got a 10 mile time trial tomorrow and a 25 mile the next day, both in Norfolk on the same strip of road. And I thought it'd be cool to overlay this intro into what we got up to on the Friday night before my races. We decided to get the decks out, switched up the lights, put a bit of strobe lighting on the TV and had some fun with some of Will's questionable DJing skills. Anyway, let's dive into the rest of the video. Man, this is grim. Quick drive, two and a half hours-ish east, and I found myself in Norfolk in a car park near Harleston, ready to race. We're calling events off early. Yep. Uh, my policy is I don't do it until the start. Okay, well, hopefully see you in the morning then. So that was just me on the phone to tomorrow's organizer of the 25 mile. I got here and I, where is everyone? Cause this car park is completely empty. So I was thinking, God, I've got the wrong place, etc., etc. And then I phoned up the organizer and he's like, it's canceled. I sent an email this morning. Cause it's two and a half hours away. I'd already left by that point. So I was driving by the time he sent them an email. Today's race is canceled. Uh, I've messaged Stefan, my coach, to see what the plan is because having just spoken to the organizer for tomorrow, uh, he said that it could be cancelled, but it might not be. And I might as well stay here overnight and talk to you in a bit once I've figured out what the, what the plan is because right now I have no idea. Let me talk you through what has quite frankly been a very frustrating past few hours. So obviously after finding out the race was cancelled, I thought out my options and option number one was just to like do a hard ride on the turbo, which to be honest didn't really fancy. Option two, go for an easy ride. Option three, do the first event in the Zwift Academy um, series, first workout. And I was all enthusiastic about it and like come on let's go so i hot footed it over to great yarmouth which is where i am now at my accommodation for the night um and then i realized i don't have a heart rate monitor and you need a heart rate monitor for transparency reasons to actually do these swift events so i was phoning around like halford sports direct all the chain stores i could think of but the closest one that actually has a heart rate monitor is evan cycles in norwich which is another 40 minutes drive there and another 40 minutes back i'm just gonna cut my losses and get ready for tomorrow and just hope beyond hope that tomorrow's event goes on and yeah just just absolutely smash it in the morning so uh, i'm gonna make the most of being by the seaside even if it is a bit miserable just try and feel a little bit more positive about tomorrow just annoying just really annoying so let me do a bit of a room tour <laughs> bedroom <laughs> toilet room and shower small compact perfect for somebody like myself it's enough room for me and my bike that's not bad for 29 pounds is it just gonna get my other stuff and we're on the beach the sea is a long way out <laughs> i'll let you know when i get to sea in like half an hour there it is, there is North Sea. You can just make out over there, that is Scroby Sands Wind Farm. They produce electricity for, I think, 41,000 households. So, not insignificant at all. Pretty cool. We don't have that on the uh, on the Devon coastline. I think I prefer Devon. Although, I'm sure it's far nicer when the sun is shining and it isn't fizzling with rain and getting dark. Feeling better for a bit of sea, yeah. Ready to smash tomorrow as time trial now. Like after the day, after everything's kind of gone wrong, really, I wasn't really looking forward to it much at all. But now, just want to get a race in my legs again this weekend and make the most of the journey. It's not exactly close to us, but the sea is feeling much more positive. There is Great Yarmouth Britannia Pier and Theatre in all of its glory. It used to extend quite a bit further out apparently, but due to a ship collision, it got shortened. 
and then storm damage it got shortened again. There's actually grass growing underneath the pier so I don't think the water level comes up this high anymore. So I just went to Google why is Great Yarmouth called Great Yarmouth and you know when you search into Google and like you complete part of a phrase and it completes that phrase for you well when I typed in why is Great Yarmouth the very first suggestion was why is Great Yarmouth so run down which made me chuckle quite a bit and then obviously followed by why is it called Great Yarmouth the reason it is called Great Yarmouth is to distinguish itself from what was at the time called Little Yarmouth which is actually just down the coast and is now called South Town and apparently the locals get very funny if you call it just Yarmouth because that's actually a town on the Isle of Wight so yeah don't do that this may be like complete enough of rubbish to you guys but I find it all quite interesting right I have got my hotel room set up going <laughs> window wide open in my skin suit because I don't have any bib shorts because um, I wasn't expecting enough to do anything on the turbo the Giro time trial on and this mini fan so I'd better do like half an hour or something like that otherwise my legs are going to sleep after doing nothing for a day plus the fact it's been a long driving day feeling so much better for a couple of efforts amazing what pedaling a bike can do good morning 25 mile day hopefully Porridge time. I cannot say I'm overly hopeful given the current weather conditions that it's gonna go ahead this morning. We have a number. That is a very promising sign that's gonna go ahead. We're in business. Looks like it's going ahead. Keep seeing riders go past on the A road just there. Bit of a weird one. Try and get your head into the right place for it. See how it goes. Legs aren't feeling too bad. Quite nervous about the amount of water and rain that's coming down. Definitely got the coolest socks out there on the field today. So what else has bright purple kit? Anyway, I better focus. Right, 15 minutes to race start. And we're good to go. Come on. I'm back and I survived, <laughs> just about. Um, nah, it was it was better than I thought it was going to be. And kudos to the organisers for, for putting on a safe event. As long as you had your head up, you could avoid the, the big puddles at the side of the road. So actually, it, it, it was run safely. I do think the conditions were better yesterday and they cancelled it. But individual organisers' calls, it's always difficult. Just re-oiling the chain for the warm down because that weather's just stripped all the wax off. Now that I've warmed up a little bit on my warm down, but I talk about how the race went. So I completed the 25 miles in 50 minutes and four seconds. Apparently it's quite close to the, uh, the course record, having just spoken to the organizer. So that's pretty cool, especially in grim conditions like this. What didn't go so well, I was so cold at the start because I'm on my own. I can't do my suit up. So I rode to the start with my skin suit open. So I just had rain coming down on my back and wasn't very warm for the first lap. The legs kicked in, the power came a little bit easier on the second lap and was able just to smash it on the last length. Concerningly, major issue is my right hamstring. It's been giving me a few issues the last couple of weeks and today it's really it's had quite a lot. I have to keep a really close eye on that. I'm really happy with how I rode. I managed to stay in the skis and sort of remain vigilant, keep my, uh, my head up but still remaining aero, um, which is a big improvement. I was able to just kind of spot the big bits of standing water and avoid them for the most part. I think the most positive thing to come out of it is actually I've made something this weekend. I was all prepared to just drive home having driven all the way to Norfolk and just have two races cancelled. But I'm super, super happy that today actually went ahead and I think I won by almost four minutes. Two more races until the end of the season. Also, this is the first time using a Saris trainer at an event for a warm-up and warm-down. And with that, I am the only one left in the car park. <laughs> Haven't been here for that long. We're only warming down 20 minutes. We're all in. Picked up the essential post-race goods. Long old drive home, two hours and 34 minutes. Fun. Just like that, I'm home.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Some ups and downs this weekend, that's for sure. We'll, uh, we'll see how the hamstring is for next weekend. Fingers crossed, I will be racing down at Thruxton Aerodrome. I think my sister's coming with me as well, because she's at uni now here. Thanks for watching. Please give it a like. Please subscribe. Until next time.